Hey guys, welcome to Raw Customs. I'm your host, Patrick Popolo, and on this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make a red hood helmet out of 5mm foam. Now, over the course of the last year, I've had quite a few requests for this helmet build, so I went ahead and spent just a little bit of extra time on the modifications to try to give you guys a simpler build, and I came up with this template here. Now, I'll be leaving the link below to that. It's going to be on my Facebook page. As far as scaling, if you have any questions on that, Go ahead and refer back to my uh, how to scale a template in Adobe Elements. I'll be leaving a link to that uh, below as well. Now on scaling, as far as the measurements, I went ahead and scaled across the eye points where I generally do. On this, I scaled between these two points. I went ahead and scaled them up to five inches and that gave me a pretty good adult size helmet. Well, all right, here's how to do it. Supplies used on this build were two sheets of five millimeter foam, Plasti dip, spray paint, contact cement, a heat gun, a razor knife, painter's cock, an airbrush, and a transparent rubber make tub. Start by tracing the templates onto your 5mm foam. On the template for the top of the helmet, add about an inch of length to the back end of it. Then trace out your nose guard. Add a little extra to the top and bottom of this piece. Then line up your cheek piece with your nose guard and trace that out. You'll need to do this on both sides. Once your pieces are traced, they can be cut out using a razor. Use a heat gun to heat up the top piece of your helmet and then bow it over something round. You're wanting to concave this piece as well as bow it. Use some pressure here. You're actually trying to stretch the foam. If it doesn't turn out right the first time, don't worry. Just reheat your piece and try it again. Next, heat up the side of your helmet. Bow in the jawline slightly and roll the edges all the way around. Apply your contact cement to one side of the top of the helmet. Go ahead and cover the entire edge. Then apply your cement to the edge of the side of the helmet. Once your edges are covered, let the glue set for about 5 minutes. Start your assembly at the top of the eye socket. Line your two pieces up and press them together. Try to keep your pieces flush on the outside edge of the helmet. And work your way from the front to the back of the helmet. Then repeat the process for the second side.
Next, heat up your nose guard. Then take a straight edge and line it up on the line that joins your pieces together and then fold it over on that edge. Do this for both sides. Once your piece is cooled, you can apply your glue. Once your glue is set, you can press all your edges together, top and bottom. Apply your glue to the edges of the front of the helmet as well as the edges of the nose guard. Press your two pieces together starting at the bottom of the eye socket and working your way down. Then repeat the process for the other side. Glue the top of the helmet and the nose guard together. On the back of the helmet, draw a curved line to mark the area that needs to be removed. Once your line's marked, you can cut off the excess. Then you can use painter's caulk to fill any gaps. Once everything's set up, you can apply your Plasti Dip, follow that up with a couple of coats of paint, on my helmet I decided to add a little battle damage so I grabbed the airbrush and went to work. Take a piece of paper, line it up behind the eye, and then trace it out. Then scale that up around a quarter of an inch and cut it out to make your eye pattern. For the lenses, I'm using a transparent Rubbermaid tub. Go ahead and trace your templates out. The main area can be cut out using a razor. And if you have a good pair of scissors, you can use it to cut out the lenses. Heat your lenses up and then slightly bow them. Hold them until they cool. Add glue to the inside of the helmet around the eyes. Then add your glue to the edges of the lens. Once your glue set, the lenses can be pushed into place.
guys, there you go, the Red Hood helmet. Now this is one of those helmets that has tons of potential. You know, you could do some cool overlays on this, maybe cut out some areas, maybe in the uh, nose guard area here, and put some type of mesh behind there for some event look. You know, make even cooler Red Hood helmet, or come up with something totally different. You know, you're only limited by your imagination on these builds. Now I got some cool ideas for the rest of this year. One of them being a tutorial on the Hawkman helmet here. That will be coming out, so if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it when it comes out. Alright, that's it for this episode. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next build.